I hope you're all well. So Cricut are releasing their foil transfer kit. Oh my goodness, this is something a lot of us have been waiting a long time for. And the great thing about this is that it's not just for your makeup. This, for the first time in a long time, is a tool that will actually go in the Explore machines as well. I don't know how many years it's been since they released their last Explore Air tool. Uh, the last thing they actually released was the Scoring Stylus. This is so exciting because it will go in your Explore models and your makeup. The great thing about this transfer kit is that this is created by Cricut for Cricut. So where there may be similar items on the market, this is by Cricut. So similar items that you put in your machine invalidate the warranty because they're not supported by Cricut. This is. So you can use this in your explores and your makers all day long without any worries. What makes this different to other foilers on the market is that, well, there's two things. First of all, it doesn't have any wires. So you don't have to worry about wires being entangled in your machine. These fit in the machines like a normal blade. So there is no wires or USB cords or anything like that. Secondly, it's not using heat. So the other foiling products on the market use heat. These do not use heat, they use pressure, which is fantastic. So they're using the natural pressure of the machine to foil your items, which I absolutely love because I've always worried about adding A, a third party element into the machine, B, having wires everywhere, and C, adding that heat element in. This is brilliant, it really is. So these are the products that are going to be available. There is a lot to go through and there will be more coming as well. So first up we have the foil transfer kit. So this is the kit to get you started and it really has got everything you need in here to start on your foil journey. This kit is fantastic. In the kit you'll find the housing with the three tips that you need and you'll also get a pack of foils and some tape as well. Brilliant as a starter kit, it really is. So you get 12 sheets of foil transfer. These are four by six inches. You get six silver and six gold. You also get four sheets of the tape as well. So these are already in strips for you and they're easily peelable. You will need these and it's great the kit comes with them. So in the kit you get the housing and you also get three tips. So these all come in the foil transfer kit along with the tape and the 12 sheets of foil. So the housing itself is very similar to the fine point housing and also the deep point housing as well. It's pretty much the same. Obviously you put the foil tips in there and it's this lovely bluey kind of grey colour but it works in the same way which is why this is fantastic because you can use it as I've already said in all the Explore models so that includes the airs as well and the maker. You also get the three foil tips as well and if you look at them you'll see each of them has different lines. So you've got one that's got one line, then the other's got two lines and the third has got three lines. So the one with one line is the fine tip, the one with two lines is the medium tip and the one with three lines is the bold tip. It's super easy to change the tips on these, so it's like a normal housing. It's magnetic, so you just gently push the tip in and the magnets will do the rest. And then to remove the tip, just push down on the housing and then pop the tip out. So gently get the tip and push it in and the magnet will do the rest. And then to remove again, you just push down on the housing and then gently remove the tip. As a starter kit, this is brilliant. It really is. I mean, there is everything you need in here. So to recap, you get the housing, you get the three foil tips, 
you get 12 sheets of foil, which are four by six inches, so six silver and six gold. And you also get four sheets of the tape as well, which are pre-cut into strips for you. So you literally just have to peel them. As a starter kit, this is so much value for money. And as I say, it gives you everything you need. So these are also going to be available to purchase and there's gonna be more of these transfer sheet packs as time goes on. So first of all, we've got this gorgeous pack here of 24 sheets. So you, they are four by six inches. There's gold, purple and teal. These colors are stunning. You've then got these two larger packs. So these larger packs come in packs of eight and you get 12 by 12 sheets. Also in each of the packs you get the tape sheets as well. So the tape, as we said, is cut into strips, it's all done for you, you just peel back. So each of the foil transfer sheet packs will have tape sheets as well. So we're in design space and we've got a few things to go over. So we're going to look at the three different tips and the line types. We're going to look at how you write and how you draw so that you can foil items and then we're going to create a quick card and I've got lots more tutorials coming up. So the first thing we're going to look at is text. So let's get a text box and we're going to go to our fonts and the first thing we're going to do is go up to filter and we're going to filter for a writing font. This is very similar to working with pens. And I've got a really good tutorial on working with pens and how you can create different colours pens and, and all of that. So I will put that in the description below because these are very, very similar processes. So I'm just going to select this font and I've already got it as a writing style. So if I put my text in, I forgot when you do, it becomes solid on that font. So actually let's change it. Let's do this one. Perfect. So because it's already a writing font, we end up with these single lines. So if we come up to line type, you'll see it's currently set to draw. If we come down to foil, you'll see we've got the three tips. So we've got fine, and it will automatically change the color and if we go to the color box you'll see there's the colors of foil that are currently available so let's put aqua on this one we're going to duplicate it and I'm going to change the line type so it's currently set to foil fine we're going to change it to foil medium We can duplicate it again. And we can change it from foil medium to foil bold. And you can then see how it's going to look. So we've got fine, which is one line, medium, which is two lines, and bold, which is three lines. Now what I really like about this is you can completely mix it up. So if we ungroup our letters, and you can do that by either going to advanced, ungroup to letters, or using ungroup in your layers panel, these letters then become individual. So if I want my F for example, as a bold, and let's say I want it to be a purple, I can have my O as, let's do fine. And I can have that a different color as well. My I, I can change, so let's have it as a medium. And again, if I want a different color, let's go with the rose. And the L, again, let's have it as a medium this time and again change the colour, let's go for a fuchsia. Now I can do that, so I've got different thicknesses in there and I've got different colours as well. 
So if I attach those together, and it is important that you attach them, when we actually go to create this, it will ask for our bold tip, and it will ask us to put purple foil down. Then it will ask for our fine tip and gold foil. It will say fine tip again and rose gold foil, and then it will ask for the medium tip with the fuchsia foil. And we can do this all in one go. It's amazing. You'll, you'll understand once you see it on the machine, but basically the machine throws the mat out far enough so that you can change the foil without having to unload your mat. It is genius and it means that you can have different thicknesses and different colours. So very, very similar to working with pens. So let's say I want half the word one thickness, one colour, and the other, another thickness, another colour. Rather than doing them individually, if I just draw around, so I've got those four letters there, I can come up to line type and we're going to change it to a bold and we'll keep the colour as it is and then these four letters we can change the line type so let's do medium and we can change the colour and then all we need to do is attach them all together and if we go to make it you'll see that they stay exactly as they are with the different colours and the different line types and it actually says to us we're going to have fine, medium and bold tips. So if I get another text, this time we're going to take away the writing filter, so we're just going to clear all filters and let's just go with this font. Because I haven't got writing style, it's automatically come in as a cut and I can change the line type again, so foil and fine. But this time, because it's not writing, you're going to get that double bubble, which is absolutely fine, it looks great. Now, just like with pens, you cannot colour in with these tips, so you won't get solid coloured letters. However, you can change that by bolding it. So depending on the font you're using, if it's a thin font, so for example, something like the skinny, you are going to reduce those line widths down. So this is currently set to bold. And then you can have medium and fine. Equally, if you find a font that's got lines in it so for example this is carly sketch which is a design space font you'll see it's got lots of lines actually going through the font so if i change that to a foil and a bold at the moment, because it's really large, it looks quite normal. However, if I reduce it down, you'll see the space becomes less and less. And the smaller I go, the more it becomes a bold line and you don't notice that actually it's not filled in because it becomes filled in through default because that's the way the font is made. So there are certain fonts you'll be able to work with in which you can create that illusion that it has actually coloured in. And equally there'll be fonts like this also looks great the way it is now because it's got that detail running all the way through it so as a fine tip as well it'll look amazing foiled so there's lots and lots of options but just be aware if it's not a writing style then you will get this double line effect so if we come into images and we're just going to browse all images and we come to art type you'll see we've got the option of draw only so if we select that 
there are then lots of drawing images that come up. So let's just type in Christmas. So these are images that I've already set to draw. So perfect for working with our foil tips. So I've got a couple of options with these. The first one is that I simply change to foil and I can go medium or I can go fine or I can go bold and they'll all be the one colour. But just like working with pens and actually cut images, I can change this. So let's say I want it all different colours. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm just going to duplicate it four times. And I'm going to align and centre. So they're all on top of each other. And then I'm going to change each of the colours in my layers. So the first one will leave as teal. The second one we will have as gold. That one we'll do in a green. And this one we'll do in purple. So if I do that first layer and I come to my contour, which is always at the bottom of your layers panel. If I bring the gold back and I go to contour, easy to do, hide all contours. I can then start adding in my gold pieces and I can see from my canvas where the green ones are so I'm not going to overlap them. I can bring the next layer back and contour. Again hide all contours, it will make life a lot easier. And I can then start adding in this layer. And then all I need to do is highlight and attach them all. And I've then got a multicoloured bauble. And I can change the line type on all of them at once. So if I want them all fine, I can do them fine. And they'll keep their colour as well, the way they are. Or if I want them medium, I can have them medium. And equally, if I want to change the colour, so let's make this one a different colour, I can. But it's really important you make sure that you attach all those layers. So exactly the same with this one. So let's do this in, uh, let's do three layers. Let's do four layers. So exactly the same, highlight, align and center. Currently set to draw, so if I just highlight them and change the line type to foil, let's do fine. And they'll all turn to gold, so I can have a gold layer, let's go with a green layer. A red layer, I don't have the red foil but I'm so excited to be able to get my hands on it. and a silver layer. So if I just reduce this down and bring it over to this side of the screen, I'll be able to see better what's going on. But you'll notice that I've moved them all at once and I've sized them down all at once by selecting all four layers. So I'm just gonna hide the other layers apart from the green layer. I can select that and choose contour. Hide all contours just because it's, I find it easier to do it that way. And I'm going to make each part of that tree green. So now I'm going to bring back the gold layer. And I'm going to contour and hide all contours. And now I can start making some of those rope pieces gold. So then that's my gold area. If I bring the red in, I can go to contour. Again, hide all contours just because I find it easier to do it that way. And then bring in, or bring back I should say, the lines that I want to be red. 
So let's say I want to change the line thickness. So I want my tree to be a thicker line. So I can change that to a bold. And then let's say I want the outside of my car to be really noticeable. So again, let's change that to a bold. And then if we want the snow or the silver bits, which isn't just the snow, it's the, the windows as well. Let's do those as a medium. And there you go. You can play around to your heart is content. The most important thing is right at the end, attach them back together. I've got a card that I've created here. So it's got a score line in it. It's going to cut and it's going to foil. This design here I got from Design Bundles and I'll link to it because it is brilliant. So it's actually created for single lines. So there's lots of designs in this bundle and I think they're wonderful. So I will link to it in the description below because it's a mix of these double lines with these single line words going through them. And the great thing is that you can, because it's an SVG, you can ungroup them and you can change the colours on them. Work with multi-layered cut images as well. So if I quickly go to images, let's change that. So get rid of draw only. It's only two layers, but I can simply change the line type to a foil. So we can do a fine on this one and we can change the colour to green. And then we can change the line type on this one. Again, let's do a fine and change the color to red. And of course you can use your contour tool. You can play around to your heart's content. So lots of different things that you can do with these foil tips. For me, I'm treating them very much like pens. So I've also created this card. So this is just an insert card and I've cut out a design I've done my score lines, I've added different foil colours in there and I am going to cut this so you can see it but what I'm saying is you can do drawing, you can do scoring, you can do cutting and you can do those all in one project so you can really go all out with this. So the first thing I want to do is actually show you the difference between the tips. So this is currently set to draw this is Cinnamon Swirls, this font. I love it. So I'm going to have this as fine. And I'm going to keep them all gold. I'm going to have this one as medium. And this one as bold. Just so that you can actually see the difference between the tips. I'm just going to add a cut into that so that we can cut it out. And then I'm just going to attach those together. So there are a few things that you need to think about when it comes to the placement. We're going to go over it a bit more in detail in a moment, but you're going to have tape for your foil, which comes in your kit. That tape and the foil cannot go under the black rollers. So that's the first thing, because the black rollers may bring them up and it'll be a disaster. Also, your star rollers are going to damage the foil. So you need to make sure that you're moving your star rollers. When you place your foil onto your product, you are going to have to tape it down. So that's the other thing that you're going to have to think about. So I'm actually going to move mine and I'm gonna have them about there and I can go to continue. And you'll see here it says foil fine, foil medium, foil bold, cut. So just like with some of our other tools, if we browse all materials, because you're foiling, it will only give you the materials that you can foil with. So we've got craft board, cardstock for intricate cuts, cardstock adhesive backed, heavy, light, medium cardstock, We've got faux leather paper thin, clear printable sticker paper, deluxe paper, deluxe paper foil embossed, heavy watercolour paper, pearl paper and vellum, which I'm very excited about, and printable vinyl. So we're using craft board today. 
and it tells you everything. So it says I need to put the fine tip in and it actually says one line. Then I need to take my gold foil onto the mater material base and load my mat. And then it also tells me, obviously we're gonna have gold foil, we need the medium tip and the bold tip. And again, it says two lines and three lines and we're going to need the fine point blade. So it tells me everything I need to know. So the first thing I want to say is don't put the foil on the mat. Do not put the foil on the mat. It's not going to affect the mat. So it's still sticky. I can still put product on there. However, I've ruined a sheet of foil and I also won't be able to get that off. So you don't want to be wasting material. The mat still works fine, uh, but I have wasted a sheet of foil. So do not put the foil on the mat. It's sticky. It will take the foil off. I didn't do it on purpose. I just put the foil down and then went, oh no. So just watch what you're doing. I'm using craft board and I'm putting the craft board on as I normally would. So I'm not having to adjust the way I put my material on. And as always, I'm going in with my Cricut brayer to secure that to the mat. I'm gonna use one of the large foil packs. So I'm using the gold. And I don't need a whole sheet, so I am going to just cut that down. So looking at my on screen, I can then work out from my map where my foil needs to go. And because I've got my whole cardstock there, I can actually put this where I want. And the great thing is, it's going to actually allow me to remove this before I cut. So I've got my tape, which comes in the kit. And you want to put it on all four sides. And I find the easiest way to do this is to get it on the foil first and then place it down. And you do want the foil to be nice and taut. Now you get these sheets in each of the packs. So in the original tip pack, so the transfer system kit, you get your sticker sheets, not stickers, are they? Tape, you get your tape sheets. And then in each of the foil packs, you'll get them as well. So in the six by four packs, you'll get some sheets. And then in the 12 by 12 packs, you also get some sheets and they do make them the size of the sheet. So I've got my housing, and as I've said, I don't know how many times now, I love this because it's for the Explore machine, so all the Explores, the Airs, and the Maker, which is fantastic. I'm just going to place my fine tip in, which has got the one line, and you literally just give it a gentle push, and because it's magnetized, it will just suck it in there, and then I can add that into my B clamp. So in terms of the rollers, these are your black rollers and you need to make sure that the foil and the tape is not going under them. So if I just look here, I'm okay. So I'm clearing on both sides. The other thing is the star rollers. You want to move these right across because if these go on the foil, they are going to damage the foil and they will actually transfer. So you'll end up with star lines going all the way down. You don't really want that. So I've got my housing and my fine tip in there. So I'm just going to load. And again, just check that your black rollers are not going to go over the foil or the tape and also that your star rollers are right across as well. It's just going to make your life a lot easier. Trust me, if these do go under the rollers, they can catch. I had it when I tried this the other day 
uh, because I didn't I didn't read the instructions properly because who does? Uh, so that's why I'm telling you so that you don't make the same mistake. We can then press our flashing C. So if we look at our screen, it's telling us to remove the used gold foil. Well, we don't need to because we're not gonna go over where we've been. So we can leave it as it is. It then tells us we need to change the tip to the medium tip, which is two lines. And then if we were gonna add some new foil on, we would. We're not going to on this one, but we will on the next one to show you how to do it. So if you look, you'll see that the machine actually brings our mat right out so that we can change the foil if we need to. As I say, we're not doing it on this one, but we will the next one. We're going to open our B clamp and take out our housing. And to remove our fine tip, all we're going to do is press down on our housing and pull. We've now got our medium tip, which has got the two lines. And to put them in our housing, all we're going to do is just drop it in and let the magnet do the rest. We can then place it back in our B clamp and close it. Because we've not unloaded the mat, all we need to do is press our C again. So once again, it's come up and it's told us to remove the used foil. We don't need to because we're not going over where it's been used. So we don't need a new piece of foil. It's telling us we need to put the bold tip in, which is three lines. If we've removed the foil, we need to put some new foil on and then we can press the C. So again, it's spat it right out without unloading it. So if we needed to change the foil, we could. We're just going to open up our B clamp And again, push down on the housing to remove our medium tip. And then to put our bold tip in, which is three lines, we're just going to gently push it in and let the magnet do the rest. And we can then add that to our B clamp and close it. And again, because we've not unloaded, all we need to do is press the flashing C. So now it's saying remove the used gold foil, load the fine point blade. It's pushed it out but it hasn't ejected and I'm just going to come in and gently remove my tape and I actually reuse the tape um, only kind of once or twice but that is pretty reusable but to be fair in the kits and the foil packs, there is plenty of tape in there. Wow. Every time, I just, I love it. I really do. So now I'm just gonna remove my foil housing, my fine point in.
So as I normally would, I'm just going to turn my mat over. And I'm just going to gently remove so that my cardstock doesn't curl, but that I don't overbend my mat either. Absolutely love these tips. This system is fantastic. It really is. I am so in love with it. So now we're going to actually do multicolors. So all I've done is ungroup this and then I've just changed them all to foil and a medium. And just like we showed before, I'm simply going to come in and just change each of the colors. I'm just going to attach those together and then I'm going to get a shape, so just a square. I can change the color on it so I can see a bit better what's going on. I'm just going to align and center and then attach those together. If we go to make it, again I need to think about where it's going. So I need to think about my rollers, I need to think about the tape, I need to think about the foil on the tape, make sure that the tape is not going to go where I'm actually wanting to foil. So you do need to have a think. So I'm going to put mine at two and two just to make it easy for me. And you'll see it says foil, medium and cut. We can then go to continue. I'm using my Maker, but of course this works on the Explore, so any of the Explore models and the Airs. Again, the materials that are available to work with the foil system will come up. And again, we're using Craft Board. So it will tell us to put our medium tip in. We're going to put our gold foil down first. And then it tells us we've got coming up aqua foil with the medium tip purple foil, grass foil, silver foil, and then the fine point blade. Again, just check that your black rollers are not going to come into contact with either the tape or the foil, and that your star rollers are pushed right across as well. So now that we've done our first foil, we need to obviously change it. And you can see again, the machine has brought the mat out far enough so that we can change the foil. Also, just a tip on the tape, instead of pulling it up, roll it on top of itself and you'll find that you end up with less paper or cardstock coming up.
I absolutely love the Cricut Foil transfer system. I think it is fantastic. It's excellent value for money. There is so many things that you can do with this and it's just going to elevate your projects. Think of all the amazing Christmas cards that you can make. I really, really do think that this is going to change a lot of things and I love that it goes in the Explore machines and the Maker as well. It makes it really accessible to all. I am going to leave links in the description below and you'll also find uh, links for the foil system as well as SVGs. For those of you in the States, I do have a 10% off code with free shipping over $50. So that would definitely be worth using and I'll put links in for the UK as well. We don't yet have a Cricut store, a dedicated Cricut store in the UK, but as soon as we do, there will be discounts and things coming our way. We just need to be a little bit more patient. But I'm so excited that this is a global launch and that we all get it at the same time. It's absolutely brilliant. Please do give the video a like. If you want to subscribe, that would mean an awful lot. And hit the notification bell because you'll always be notified of when I upload a new video. And I've got lots of videos coming your way both to do with the foil transfer system and of course Halloween and Christmas. We're coming into that really exciting time of year. And I think with what's going on in the world, we all kind of need to keep that positivity up. So I'm gonna be creating lots of things in the coming weeks and months. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them below and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.